here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Arena. It has just been an awesome day here so far, and another contest coming your way next as the Dolphins out of Florida take on the Cowboys of Texas and the 11 and 12 year olds. Should be fun here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports. Drew Felios, Rini Angolia, our fabulous crew here this morning bringing you all the sights, more NFL flag championships from the Pro Bowl coming up. All right, friends, it's time now for this morning's final NFL flag championship game. It's in the 11 and 12 co-ed division between the Ryan Football Dolphins from Miami, Florida and the Metro Cowboys from Dallas, Texas. Let's meet the players and coaches for this game. First, let's meet the visitors, the Metro Cowboys. Number six, Justice Fry. Number 16, Merrick Moss. Number 21, Eli Bowen. Number 24, Jaden Hardy. Number 25, Mason McDonald. Number 31, Devin Owen. Number 32, Diego Avila. The assistant coach for the Cowboys is Steve Arnold. The head coach is Derek Fry. And now, let's meet the home team, the Ryan Football Dolphins. Number four, Jose Leal. Number five, Rashad Snow. Number six, Tito Nunez. Number seven, Eric Pereira. Number eight, Devontae Ward Grant. Number 10, Elijah Costano. Number 11, Kevin Cascudo. Number 19, Tristan Pineda. Number 20, Cameron Pineda. Number 33, Dalen Russell. The assistant coach for the Dolphins is Jose Leon. The head coach is Johan Bettingcourt. Welcome to the ESPN Wide World of Sports. The NFL Flag Championships continuing here at the Pro Bowl as we get set for the Dolphins and the Cowboys. NFL players, Pro Bowlers in attendance throughout the morning. So we've already talked to Juju Smith-Schuster, also Saquon Barkley, and we have seen tremendous athletes. Zach, Dak Prescott also on the field right there representing the Dallas Cowboys. Great to see him in attendance here. And, you know, it is great also watching the the pro bowlers, guys like Lamar Miller and company, interacting with some of the youngsters. Just the looks in the eyes of some of these young flag football players. They're heroes on display here today. I mean, it's not just a thrill to come and play for a championship here, but as you said, to see the stars in the NFL, the, the players you idolize and look up to, it's just an awesome experience for these young kids. <laughs> Welcome and congratulations to the championship game, fellas. FC, you will be ca calling the toss. Heads, tails. Tails. You call. What you call? Heads, you call. Heads, it is. Take a seat, please. He wants to play defense. If he's going to put your way, you'll tell him to start down. He's going this way. All right, guys, shake hands. Let's play ball. Let's do it. So the Dolphins will be wearing white. The Cowboys, of course, will be wearing the blue. This Cowboys team coached by Derek Fry. And the Dolphins, let's meet these young Dolphins. Jose Leon, the wide receiver 
will certainly be a factor. Also, Rashad Snow. Elijah Castano is the cornerback. Johan Betancourt is the head coach. Jose Leon is the assistant coach. This team out of Miami, Florida. They've won four NFL flag national championships. And as for the Cowboys, again, wide receiver, usually the most important position here in flag football. Merrick Moss is going to be the quarterback here today. You know, as much as flag football is about speed, scoring points, what we've seen today is defense has been the difference. Which team can steal that possession, can get that one or two takeaways, and with a 20-minute game, running clock, 10 minutes per half, you get a takeaway. A lot of times that could be the difference in the game. See Merrick Moss right there saying, bring it on. I am ready. Devon Owen, his top target, and a big target to throw to. And there's the defense for the Dolphins. Cowboys huddling up offensively, getting set here to do their thing. As you see, also wearing the plays on the wristbands, flag football. It's very fast and furious here, and it should be in this championship as the first pass is thrown out to the far side, and nice catch and run by Eli Bowen. Yeah, nice quick, safe pass. I like the play call. I got the quarterback, Eric Moss, under center, trips to the left. You see who gets uncovered? It was Eli Bowen. Boom, hit it to him. Nice run on first down after the catch. These young Cowboys have played up. They were 11-year-olds last year, and they played in the 14 and under division. So they've played bigger, faster players in the past. That has made them better. It's made them stronger as a team. So here's Bowen now, a little trickery as he hands it off, and Merrick Moss trying to get this pass away. It's incomplete. Remember, five on five, three plays to get it to midfield offensively. If you don't, it's a turnover on down. Wow, boy, I tell you, he had Mason McDonald right there. If he could have got it to him, would have picked up the first down at midfield easily. Just a low throw. McDonald can't go down and make the catch. And now the Cowboys have one play to get it to midfield to keep this drive alive. Yeah, you see Dak Prescott on the other side. He is into this yeah. game. He's cheering on the Cowboys, of course. Wanting his, his home team to, to take one home here. So Moss got to get it to midfield. Time to throw. Rush was coming, and this one's intercepted. As it's taken away by Rashad Snow, and a good start for the Dolphins. And Dak Prescott not liking it on the Cowboys' side. Yeah, Merrick Moss throws that up into traffic in the middle. Rashad Snow's right there. Great pressure as well by Cameron Pineda, forcing that throw. Snow gets that interception. We talk about takeaways, and we get it right away. And you see Lamar Miller. Got to be a little excited for his Miami team here. I think Dak might be into it a little bit more. <laughs> Custano able to complete this one on the far side. Flag is still on, and it is a touchdown. So how about an interception, and then one play, and six points for the Dolphins. And the same player, Rashad Snow. Gets the interception, turnover, offense. Get it to Snow, your speedster, and watch the run after the catch. Castano, quick throw, gets it to him. And the score. Try for the extra point here. This one is incomplete. Still a very good start for the Dolphins. Rashad Snow making it happen. You also saw from the quarterback, Castano, sort of a sidearm yeah. delivery. That's something that a college quarterback here nearby, Mackenzie Milton, does pretty well. Yeah, huh? We'll change that arm angle, but what I like out of Castano is the quickness of that delivery. Get it to your skill player in space. Let him run after a catch. Exactly what Snow did there. Now here's Moss to throw. Pump fakes one time. Going for the home run. It is tied up. Tie goes to the receiver. And let's see. Are they going to say it's an interception? I think they're going to give this to the offensive player. It's going to be Avila, Diego Avila, coming down with a catch. Yeah, Avila and Rashad Snow fought for that one, but they came down with simultaneous possession. And you're right. The offense will get credit for this catch, and it's the correct call. They're fighting for it. They're both fighting for it. They're going to hit the ground, and that's the correct call. Avila has possession of as well simultaneous. And the offense gets a huge play for the Cowboys. So now a short field to work with. How about a reverse? The handoff is to Bowen, and he has got six for the Cowboys. A nice answer. Nice and quick. How about a two-play drive? 
for the Cowboys to tie it up at six and now a chance to take the lead with the extra point. Just a handoff to Bowen. Nice job, keeps that ball nice and high. You don't worry about ball security in flag football. There's no fumbles, but you can get flag guarding. That's why you'll see the kids hold that ball over their head so that flag, they won't you know, instinctively knock the defender's hand away from the flag. Merrick Moss now trying for the extra point. He spins out, tries to get the defense going one way. Tosses it up in the air! Yeah, they're gonna say it's caught. Yes, it is! Avila comes down with it somehow in the back of the end zone. And they just threw this one up to grab to see how big Avila is. He goes up, makes that catch. Just high points it. Oh, the what a play. Big body receiver comes down with the conversion. Diego Avila, two monster catches. And the Cowboys, a little bit of a slow start, have bounced right back here in this NFL flag championship at the Pro Bowl. So Castano now on the field for the Dolphins. He'll launch one. Has a receiver out there. It's caught. Just a couple yards shy of a touchdown. Rashad Snow again. Well, these are the big plays we were looking for in the earlier games. But we're getting them in this one. Nice throw. Air it out to your speedy receiver. And look at Snow again. He goes up and makes the catch in traffic to pull it down, and it's first and goal for the Dolphins. I think some of these players are ready for the big stage right now. Some of these catches they're making. Now it's Castano trying to buy some time. Rifles this one incomplete. How about the velocity that ball is being delivered with? I mean, we're talking 12 and 13 year olds here. Well, Castano's got a nice arm. He showed us, and let's take a look at Rashad Snow getting a little rest and a flag on the play. So that moves the Dolphins back. But what it does, Drew, puts them at the seven-yard line. They can now run the ball if they choose to. Inside the five is a no-run zone. So we'll see what Coach Bentoncourt calls up. Castano, little handoff this time to Cascudo. And Cascudo's going to get in. Did not have his flag pulled. Looked like Avila had a chance but just did not get his hand on a flag that time. And the penalty for the Dolphins actually helped them because it moved them back into where they could run the ball. They go to Cuscoto for the end around. Cowboys had a chance for the pull. They don't get it. And Cuscoto gets it in for the score. Yeah, Vila right there. But again, sometimes difficult to get a hand on the flag. See the big man right there, Dalen Russell, number 33. A wide receiver for the Dolphins has not gotten involved offensively just yet. But man, oh man, is he a big target. So this Dolphins team priding themselves on family and their biggest strength is unity here at the flag championships. And tomorrow, 3 o'clock the time for the Pro Bowl 19 ESPN, ABC, Disney XD and Deportes broadcasting it. Best players in the NFL, best football players in the world on display. At Pro Bowl 19, thrilled to be a part of it. What a week it has been. Tomorrow is the main event. As we get ready for the Super Bowl. Just in eight days, Patriots and Rams from Atlanta. Jaden Hardy locking in now for the Cowboys. From five yards away, a one Extra point try now for the Dolphins. For the Dolphins. Little handoff, lob pass, getting the big man involved. And this one's incomplete. Dalen Russell, first time they tried him. And he had tight coverage by a much smaller Jaden Hardy that was effective. Well, we usually say he tripped over the line. He literally tripped over the line in flag football. It's a, it's a cord, and you see the big man get his toe caught. And he stumbles, can't bring in the ball. But the Dolphins lead this one 12 to, set, 12 to 6, excuse me. So the Cowboys able to answer on their last drive. Can they do it again? Merrick Moss went downfield with that bomb to Avila. Comes to the sideline quickly here. Merrick Moss, love the way he moves around in the pocket. 
Quick throw this time. And, you know, Rini, I have a feeling just looking at, like, looking at a guy like Merrick Moss, this That's is a kid that we're going to see on recruiting charts in years to come. He's just got that look and that aura about him. Well, and I think quarterback playing five football really translates uh, to tackle football just because you got multiple receivers, you got to look them off, you got to get rid of the ball quickly because of the rush, and you can show off your arm like this. Incomplete this time. Tito Nunez there to break it up is Devin Owen. Was the receiver they were trying to hit. So far, that's been the Cowboys offense. Roll to the left and throw deep to the right. So 30 seconds to snap the ball each time. The ball is spotted. It moves very quickly here in flag football. See, time left in the first half. Just over a minute to play. Dolphins had the fast start. Interception and a touchdown. Cowboys came right back. Then the Dolphins scored on their last possession. That's where we are. So here's Moss now. Again, trying to create time. Throwing it long and incomplete. He has such a big arm that sometimes, even when he's going to the opposite field, he tends to overthrow his targets. He does, but I think he threw that a little quicker than he wanted to. Cameron Pineda, good pressure once again. Doesn't get the pull, but I think he forced Merrick Moss to throw it just a beat before he wanted to. Merrick Moss, what an arm this young man has. Only 13 years old. Now he's got to turn the ball over to his defense. Let's see what the Dolphins can do. Now moving it. Castano. And complete this time. Also looking for the home run. As you saw, the speed of Jose Leon just couldn't catch up to it. Well, I tell you, Leon. Had some separation there at the end. Almost came down with that. That would have been a huge score. The last play of this first half. So our halftime score is the Ryan Football Dolphins 12. So halftime here at the NFL Flag Championships. And don't go too far. I think the official's actually going to give him a timeout. He was waving off the public address announcer to say <laughs> they got a timeout in. So I think there's going to be one play left in this half, Drew. And I'm told that with one second left, the Ryan Football Dolphins got their timeout call. So we put one second back on the clock. Of course, we can see Big Dak Prescott coming across the field, so hopefully we'll get a chance to say a few words with Dak. So one more play here remains for the Dolphins. It's Castano trying to pull the trigger here. Going to go short with it. And this ball is going to be taken care of easily. As number 21, Eli Bowen, able to pull the flag. Exciting first half here at the NFL Flag Championships as we saw fireworks on both sides. 12 to 6 is your score. And the Dolphins... And Cowboys set to go, Rini. I'm telling you, man, this has been awesome. What an experience here at the Pro Bowl this morning. Uh, it's been great, and uh, what a way to uh, cap off the week, right, before the Pro Bowl tomorrow. Dolphins going right back to work, throwing it over the middle. And that's Cascudo, Kevin Cascudo. He plays center, but you see the center snapping the ball and going out as yeah. wide receivers. Everybody is eligible in flag football, and that center is an important position and oftentimes can slide open right in the middle of the field. Elijah Castano for the Dolphins back to throw. Here comes the rusher. So far, the rusher has not had much success, and a nice catch made by Tristan Pineda. And he got the line to gain midfield. So a first down for the Dolphins. Now three plays to see if they can score. Nice quick release there by Gastano at quarterback. Tell you what, some of these receivers on the Dolphins' side, big, fast, physical, strong. And you talked about it earlier. I like how they, these kids use their hands to catch the ball. They don't let it get into the body, and that's important. Gastano now as they get it across the midfield line. Another sidearm throw. Again, that... 
Mackenzie Milton delivery. Yeah. I use his name a lot, Randy, because he's also a guy who had a chance to watch play today. Yeah, UCF's quarterback, of course, had a devastating injury, going through a lot of surgeries. Everyone's praying they don't make it back, but he is one of those quarterbacks that changes that arm level from high to low to really sidearm. And I tell you what, uh, Cassano showing us that he can do that at the ripe old age of 12. <laughs> mm -hmm. Elijah Castano, one of the younger players on this Dolphin squad. Dolphins also have brothers on this team, Tristan and Cameron. Castano throwing it long. Player goes down, and that's going to draw a flag. But interesting, is that ball catchable? Let's see what the referees rule here. Jaden Hardy was on the coverage. Holding on the defense. Five-yard penalty, first down. Well, and, they, and they called it on Jaden. Hardy, 24, who pulled Rashad Snow down. So that's where the call is right there, and it's called a hold in flag football. And I think Snow had the speed that he could have made it to that ball. Castano hands it off now. It's Leon. And Leon gets it up field. Avila able to pull his flag. And right now, if you are the Cowboys, Rini, you got to sort of be aware of time. I know plenty of time, just one score game. But again, a couple bad plays can do me in flag football. Well, and you're right. And, and with seven minutes left in this game, running clock, you go down by two scores. That can be a very uphill battle. So the Dolphins, they can make this a two-score game. Going to be really difficult for the Cowboys to come back here. Castano back on the field with his mates. Fake handoff this time. This is Cascudo trying to get loose. He gets very close to the goal line as Justice Fry eventually marked him down. So you get in that no-run zone now, Rainey. Yeah, so now you have to pass the ball. So if you're the Cowboys, you know that. Just defend the pass. Don't worry about the run. Those little yards after the catch, too. You saw Cascudo. If you can dodge one, maybe dodge two, it makes such a difference in this game. Oh, it sure does. Castano now takes it under center. Looks over the middle. It's big target. Oh, sacked. Nice play made by Justice Fry. That could be a game changer. Wow, Fry right up the middle like he shot out of a cannon. Boy, it looked like right from the snap they had Dalen Russell. Big 33 if he would have went to him right now. Castano doesn't. And wow, Justice Fry, huge sack. And as you said, Drew, maybe the biggest play of this game thus far. You're right. As soon as the ball was snapped, Dalen Russell was open for a moment. Now Moss trying to air it out. Touchdown! Jaden Hardy in stride. Cowboys right back in the thick of it. And how many times today have we seen a great defensive play, and then the team takes over, and boom, they go for the kill. And the Cowboys right there. Great throw by Merrick Moss. We talked about his arm strength. And Jaden Hardy... The speed, the concentration, and he's in the end zone for the score. And I'll tell you what, Rini, at 13 years old, that was an NFL throw by Merrick Moss. Dak Prescott impressed on the far side. He's loving it. Merrick Moss could have taken part in the quarterback skills competition. Yeah. Wow, what a throw. All right, now, huge extra point on the way, Rini. Moss spinning out again. Tries to throw it, and the lead to the Cowboys here with just over four minutes to play. It's 13 to 12. And you see Merrick Moss gets that snap. He rolls out, spins back, knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. Eli Bowen just gets over the goal line, makes the catch for the conversion. And now if you're the Cowboys, it's all about defense with four minutes left in this game. Castano. Go short this time, Leon, the catch, and he's taken down. It's as simple as this for the Cowboys. You get a stop here, you're going to bring the championship home to Dallas. Devin Owen making a play for the Cowboys. What a turn of events we've seen in the last minute. Justice Fry made the sack, then Merrick Moss goes deep, hits Jaden Hardy. 
just like that Cowboys lead after the conversion by Bowen. Castano, Castano. another short throw. So they're trying to dink and dunk here. Effective so far, but now this is a huge play coming up. Remember, only three downs to get to midfield. Cowboys have the lead. You give them the little dinks and dunks, right? Come up, good flag pulling. We've seen it thus far from the Cowboys. Take a look at the Cowboys side. Derek Fry, the head coach, Steve Arnold, assistant coach for the Dolphins. There's Joanne Betancourt, head coach. Johan, assisted by Jose Leon. Castano. And was he taken down? I believe the flag was pulled before he got the pass away. Another huge play by the Cowboys, Justice Fry, second sack of the game. Yeah, not the biggest guy, but he's quick. And watch, he's going to miss the flag pull initially, but he sticks with it, comes back, and clearly gets the pull before Castano releases the ball, gets the sack. And it's a turnover on downs as the Cowboys take over. Marini, you're also seeing how quick you have to be as a quarterback in flag football. When you got quicksters, like Justice Fry coming at you, you've got to be so quick making decisions. And now the Cowboys in no hurry as they're two minutes and 20 seconds away from taking this championship home. Moss, a misdirection handoff this time to Eli Bowen. Number 21 of the Cowboys carrying the football. Jose Leon, force on defense for the Dolphins. Now the Dolphins need a stop. Can't afford to have Merrick Moss throw one of his signature bombs here. And it looks like head coach Derek Fry for the Cowboys might just be content with running it, right? Don't put it up. If it's intercepted, that can be returned. So they just want to do what they can to get this minute 45 and running off the clock and secure this championship. Moss, pump fake, goes over the top. This is a gamble. Nearly intercepted by Rashad Snow looking for Avila again on the fly. Now the one thing in flag football, it goes incomplete, but the clock still runs. So you take a deep shot at it. If that gets picked off, you'll live with it. But it falls incomplete, but again, clock's still running. So this is the last play for the Cowboys here to get it to midfield. Again, just over a minute to play. Dolphins have got to have a stop here for a chance to win. It has been high octane, high intensity since the opening minute in this game. Both teams going at it. Finally, a timeout and a stoppage of clock, a rarity here in flag football. Well, the Cowboys let that 30 second play clock run right down. They took the timeout. They got one play to get to midfield to secure this win. If not, if they don't get it, the Dolphins will take the ball back over, but at the f their own five yard line. 71 teams in four divisions here at the flag championships at the Pro Bowl. Over 450,000 boys and girls across the country participating in this great sport. Certainly a sport of its own. Lamar Miller hoping the Dolphins can get a stop here and keep hope alive. Dak Prescott for the Cowboys hoping they can get it across midfield and ice this game. Mason McDonald will snap it. Merrick Moss will deliver it. Moss, does he get it away? His flag was pulled. They say the pass was made. Leon makes the catch, and now the Dolphins will take over. But they got to hurry. The clock doesn't stop on change of possession. No time for high fives. Under 40 seconds left in this game. They do get the possession where the interception was, which is huge. Gives them an extra six yards of field position. All up to Castano now. Rusher comes, he eludes it, buying time, throwing downfield, just over the head of Dalen Russell. Clock continues to run, and we're going to have a timeout. Here's one more look at the interception. Dolphins able to get the ball back. It's Leon, and it all comes down to this now. Ball out of bounds here. Dolphins have got to hurry up, Rini. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to get this playoff through. And finally, stoppage. You saw Dolphins a little bit confused about 
What exactly was the strategy? They do get a timeout, though, Johan Betancourt. You have to wonder, maybe, was that timeout maybe a call a little bit too well, late? They only, they only got one, so they left it. They got one play left in this game, so now if you're the Cowboys, you're defending the goal line, right? You can't give up the Hail Mary. That's the only way you're going to lose this game. you got to knock it down. Saw big Diego Avila saying just that. Knock it down. Don't try to catch it. Knock it down. The game will be over. And you'll have the championship. Yeah, I'll say this if you're the Cowboys, it's going to be tough to decide. An MVP. So many key players in this game with the quarterback Moss and Justice Fry and the defensive plays he made, but still got to get a stop here. And here we go. Do they have one more stop in them? Dolphins with Castano and six seconds to work with. Snap to Castano. Castano throws it up in the air. It hangs in the air. It's picked off. The Cowboys come down with it. Devin Owen seals the championship. Owen down the sidelines. Going to be whistled dead though. But the interception will stand. So defense switches the momentum and seals it for the Cowboys. The team out of Dallas, Texas comes from behind in thrilling fashion and they take this flag championship. Dak Prescott, an inspiration on the Cowboys well, side. As much as you think about scoring in flag football, we call three great championship games today where I believe defense won the game for all three of those champions. What a football game. These youngsters gave us so much drama here this morning. Mason McDonald, you see number six, Justice Fry. And the way he was able to change the momentum with those sacks, that was huge. All right, let's go down to the field here for the championship presentation. Now we send it out to the center of the field for the presentation of the NFL Flag Championship Trophy by Dak Prescott to the Metro Cowboys. You know, what I, you know what I love when the Cowboys win, so congratulations to the Cowboys. You deserved it. Uh, it was a great win. It was a great game. Congrats on everything. Good luck. And our championship game MVP from the Cowboys is number six, Justice Fry. Congratulations to both the Metro Cowboys and the Ryan Football Dolphins on a tremendous tournament. And congrats to the Cowboys on this 11 and 12 division championship. Justice Fry, guy you, you wouldn't think coming in would be a MVP candidate. The huge game-changing plays for any, he's the MVP. The great rushes, the great pulls, but you know what I love, Drew? That hair is perfect. <laughs> I love the gel. It looks great, right? When you get done winning MVP, you still look that good. Kudos, Justice. Uh, the championship belt. What a thrill for these young men. Chance to beat Dak Prescott. Chance to win a championship. Justice Fry. The quarterback sack on Elijah Castano, changing the momentum in the second half. Well, we're going to check in now with Derek Fry, the head coach of the Cowboys, and a great job of the Cowboys not panicking early, Arini. The Dolphins went on top. This one easily could have gotten out of grasp. Instead, Derek Fry keeps his team together, and Coach Fry, the composure your guys showed was huge down the stretch, wasn't it? Yes, I mean, they've been doing it since they've been playing together all the time. They never get down. I mean, they can only beat themselves, but they held together, and they pulled it out. Coach, I love the play call. You got the big stop on defense. One play, you go for the bomb, you get the big score. Really turn the momentum in this game. Thank you, yeah. When you have a kid that can throw it 
60 yards, you know, 12-year-old, then two big guys that can go up and get it any time. I mean, it makes it makes it easy coaching. And also, how about Justice Fry, the guy who you probably wouldn't expect to be MVP, but that huge sack that he had in the second half, getting it back to your offense, was the game changer, Coach? Yeah, I mean, that, I'm proud of him. You know, it's my son, so uh, <laughs> he's been doing it for rushing for a long time, and he, he – yeah, he, he's, he's finally paid off all the work he's put in. So, yeah. Oh, Coach, that's awesome. So now you're champions. What now, Coach? I mean, th this is the pinnacle of flag football, isn't it? Yes, it is. And, you know, these boys got to play last year in the 14 as 11-year-olds. So uh, they're going to come back next year as 13-year-olds and give it a go. All right, Coach, yeah. thank you so much. It's been Appreciate fun it. covering your team. Thank Congratulations, Coach. Hope to see you next year. Hey, hey. Go Metro. Thank you. All right, NFL flag championships. What a performance by this young man, Justice Fry. Over 700 athletes here competing. The best of the best crown champions here today. Four different divisions, 12 different markets represented. As we get ready for the Pro Bowl tomorrow, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, ESPN, ABC, Disney XD, and Deportes. And Get ready for the Super Bowl, yeah. the Pro Bowl, the best way to do it. Got you covered, multiple channels, and uh, I'll be sitting back at home watching it. Saquon Barkley, Dak Prescott, Lamar Miller, so many great players that we had a chance to meet here today, Rainey. It was a memorable morning here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports. And once again, a reminder that the future of the game in football is in great hands. The NFL flag the NFL Flag Championships are in the books here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports for Rini Angolia and our fabulous crew. I'm Drew Felios saying so long from Central Florida. Enjoy the Pro Bowl on Sunday.